you can now support Ghost Maps on Patreon. Simply look for We Are Huntu or click the link in the description. Ghost Maps is hosted on Libsyn. Get up to two months of free podcast hosting for your show from Libsyn with the promo code HANTU. Check out the description for more details. Ghost Maps, Entry 51, Tanglin Hill, Singapore. Well, this feels strange. The usual guy, he he met with an accident. Or at least it seemed like an accident at first. My name is Will. And my name is Keith. We were there with him when it happened. And if I'm being honest, I really don't want to be here. I'd rather this was him instead of us, you know? But, well... Bro, maybe it's better if you start from the beginning. Right. Right. Everyone knew him as the collector of ghost stories. So that's what we'll call him. The collector. He went with us to where my story happened. At Tangling Brunei Hostel. He told us that this was something he'd rarely done. Almost all his interviews were conducted at coffee shops and kopitiams. But he'd made an exception this time. And he paid for it. At some point during that night, a concrete path right outside one of the hostel's buildings, it it just gave away. The collector fell through, crashing right down into a basement. We couldn't see him from where we stood. We called out to him, but for what felt like forever, no answer. Yeah, we were damn scared lah. Trespassing into that place was one thing, but to lose someone, to add to the spirits that dwelt there, there's no adequate punishment for that crime. Not by an earthly court, anyway. Finally, however, a hoarse voice from within the basement called back out to us. The collector was still alive. His scrapes and bruises certainly looked severe, but nothing seemed to be broken. Recovering from the shock of what had happened, the collector allowed himself another moment to just sit there within swirling clouds of dust and dirt to catch his breath. Eventually, he grunted, groaned and pulled himself back up to his feet. Through the eerily unlit corridors of that abandoned building, he slowly found his way back out. Having had enough excitement for one night, the collector and the two of us took our leave of those grounds. But the spirits weren't done with him yet. Yeah, unfortunately, we only found out this part later. Despite his condition, the collector made sure that he still stopped by a 24-hour coffee shop and ordered himself a kopi before heading back to his flat. It was one of the tips that he had learned from those that came before him. Never go straight home after an encounter. So he nursed his drink till four in the morning. Then, finally satisfied that he was safe, he decided that it was time for him to get some rest. As he returned to his flat, however, this uneasy feeling gripped him. A sensation like he had never felt before. Quickly, he made his way to his home's altar, where he burned offerings and said prayers. Some of which might be familiar to many holy men, but 
but some of which are known only to a select few. Despite the ferocity of his prayers, he still couldn't shake that growing unease. The collector wasn't gonna fool himself. This wasn't paranoia or residual effects from his shock. He decided to take a more direct approach. He pulled up a chair in front of the altar. Politely and almost plainly, he asked whatever had followed him home to show itself. For a while, nothing. Not a sound. And then, from within the shadows of his flat, an old man appeared, staring gravely at him. When he described the old man to us, it was uh, the same one that showed itself to me the last time. The collector took a deep breath and was about to speak. But then, he realised that the old man was not alone. Soldiers in World War II uniforms, floating heads, ghost children, women in white with long black hair, spirits from his previous entries. All of them stepped forth from the shadows too. The collector panicked, looking from one entity to the next. Finally, however, he locked eyes with the old man again, and remained silent, but his stare said everything. The collector is not the first of his kind. Generations of generations of collectors have passed down knowledge and secrets and wisdom. But none of them understood the most crucial lesson of all. These stories that he chronicles are important, but not as important as the people who shared them and the spirits that these stories were about. So these entities came to the collector as a warning. They knew that he had been respectful so far. That night, however, was his first slip up. And it would be the only one that they would allow. Then, just as suddenly as they had all appeared, the entities disappeared. It's a lesson for us as well. We're not going to be messing with this kind of thing anymore. I think that's why he wanted us to do this recording. Not just because he's recovering, but because he wanted it to sink in for us. When we tell their stories, they can hear it too. Yeah, man. So, how's it going? So far, so good. <clears throat> it certainly seems like it. You, uh, you want us to handle the next entry as well? Thank you, but I think I've got it. If you want to discover more of Southeast Asia's other side, subscribe now and follow us on social media. You can also be one of our supporters on Patreon. Look for We Are Huntu or click the links in the description. Ghost Maps is a Huntu production created by Kyle Ong and Wayne Ray with art direction by Jolene Lim and recorded on Audio-Technica mics.